All right, guys, welcome back to another How to Build a Bitcoin Mine episode. In this episode, we're going to be cleaning out my garage and installing the miners. But if you haven't seen the first episode, be sure to check that out. It'll be in the little eye icon in the top right corner of the video. All right, guys, so the miners are arriving today. So we're just cleaning out the garage. Um, we're going to get all the dust out and we're going to run a cable from the box here all the way to the back and then install our power supply shelf and uh, networking gear. All right, so quick update. We've got all the stuff out of the garage and we are just about to clear up the floors uh, with a mop, broom, and water. All right, guys, so the floor is getting cleaner. I'm just gonna brush it out one more time here and uh, we're gonna let it dry and go pick up our miners. All right, guys, so we got our miners in. I'm just gonna do a little unboxing here. We got a little uh, letter on top from Ant Miner here. And uh, looks like the packaging is very well put together. Uh, this thing will probably have survived the journey. Looking good. There it is. There's a little bit of shaking in there, it's kind of unnerving. There she is, in all her glory. All right guys, so here's a rough uh, layout of how we are gonna have our miners set up in the garage. Uh, they just came in and we're just finishing off the uh, electrical work in the garage so we can hook these up. Alrighty guys, so I put some lights up just because I have to turn the power off in the garage and it's gonna be really dark. But I just wanted to show you guys this shelf. This is the shelf I got. I actually got it from Canadian Tire. Uh, it didn't fit in my car, so I had to get some random guy with a truck to bring it over to my house, but we live pretty close to there, so uh, it wasn't too bad. So now my first task is I'm gonna take the cover off of this after turning the power off in here, and we're gonna try and run a line of this armored cable here. Got it. All right, so the next thing is, is I gotta bend this and strip it of this metal stuff. Then we put it in the box here. All right guys, so I got the wire stripped here. <clears throat> Gave myself lots of extra since I'm kind of a noob at this. And uh, I just gotta put these little red um, protectors for the cable right on the end right here. All right guys, so the wire's in right here. We got it hooked into this breaker. It's coming down to here, running along here for now. Uh, I'm just about to mount this box here um, just to the wall where these two holes are and then we're gonna have a outlet right there. Alrighty guys, so the box is on the wall. That was actually really easy. Uh, now I'm just gonna run the wire over here, punch one of these side things out and start wiring up the plug. Alrighty guys, so the cable is fully run now. It's running around the edge here and into the side of our box. Uh, I'm just gonna trim these wires and hook up our plug. Alrighty guys, so the wiring is all in here. I'm just gonna reinstall the networking and uh, hook up our miners. This is so exciting guys. We're just starting to mine here. I cannot wait to get this thing going. It should be up within the hour. Alrighty guys, so we have our networking cable hooked up now. I'm gonna run it uh, just along that wire with some uh, uh, zip ties. Uh, so we have our power supply out here now. Um, I decided we're gonna have the fans facing the wall here because I'm gonna bring fresh air in from that window over there. Um, and the cable is gonna come under here. We're gonna tie it up to here and then it will go right into the plug here. Alrighty guys, we are coming to the final stages of this project. I've got our two Antminer L3 Pluses and our power supply in the middle. Network switch there, plug there. Still have to put the face plate on that, but 
I will just show you exactly how to hook these things up to the power supply and to the ethernet cables now. All right guys, so I have one board hooked up with all the power connectors. That's eight plus one for the actual um, motherboard there. Looking good, looking good. Just gonna hook up the second one and then we'll see if this thing runs. Alrighty guys, so both of the Antminer L3 Pluses are hooked in with power. I've double checked all the connectors and uh, we are just going to boot up our power supply here. Um, this is a little switch. I'm not quite sure how that works, but we will see shortly. So the last step before we plug in the power supplies is hooking up our ethernet cables. This is really easy. Just pick any port. Uh, for, uh, let's choose 11. Pop, clicked in. Let me go over to our board here. Ethernet in. Oh boy, I don't want to knock the amp miner off the shelf. There we go. And we just do the same for the other one and then we turn the power on. Alrighty, so it's all plugged in. Now it's just time to plug in the power supply and we'll see what happens. Ready? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, power supply is on. Ant miners are in. Ready? Three, two, one. We got green lights on the ethernet. All right, guys, so these things are running very, very loudly now. I assume before they were just uh, doing some like diagnostics checks. Um, we appear to have the successful connection to the house. All right, guys, they've kicked out of that very, very loud cycle and they've now gone into this normal blinking mode. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it looks good, looks good. Our connection to the ethernet is working. And it seems that we have some uh, operational miners here. And that's it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, I will be showing you how to configure your Antminer L3 Pluses or other mining hardware, as well as how to pick a pool and a coin to mine. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified for the next episode.